I guess he just feels he, it's an easy enough shot from back here. This? And Calvin's not laying up at all. It's just not as not in him. If this goes, oh, oh wow, lock okay. it up, folks. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna just? Yeah. <laughs> That's going out in style, folks. What a way to win from over 400 back. <laughs> he all he needs to do is lay up. He's just gonna hit the basket instead. I think he should lay up. There's no need to go. Oh for yeah, that punch. Should, it's I almost would've. cocky. Yeah, I would have. But who am I? Look at this off the flag. Flag. Wow. And Josh. Actually, he kind of fell down there. I saw that live. And this thing is just You, you know, anything you can do, Calvin. CTP. I can do better. <laughs> That's a little it. closer. You never see that. And a death playoff. Here we go. High to, this is low a good... to high. Just outside the circle. Oh, oh man. A little, little jumper straight. Oh, and we get the sweet slow mess. Here we go. From world to an NT. Where is she going next? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She runs it in already. She, knows she knew as soon as it left her hand. You mind? Oh no! It looks trying like to play. AJ is agitated here. There must be some distraction. It looks like there's a disturbance in the green. Perhaps we can call the tournament director over here to get. No, we don't the need the tournament to director. This is you guys. You're literally on the course inside circle two on the 18th hole. I'm trying Jim to put. Really, really needs to focus. He's inside circle two where he's actually 60% on the day. Well, that's a fantastic percentage. Why is he so angry? He just needs to focus. I don't know. Well, he needs shut up. I'm trying to make this. Give me the ball. Wow, what a putt from AJ. Let's see that again, Germ. Yeah, you can see right here, you can see the anger in his eyes, yet he somehow manages to refocus himself and lock down the putt. Absolutely. I mean, whatever the problem was, he focused through it. That's a course record score. Fantastic. Hey, screw you guys. Well, that's why they call him Loose Cannon Risley, Nate. No, they don't call me that. Well, they, they do now, buddy. Yeah, they sure do. Evans having to go with a little bit of a turnover that's moving in pretty hot. Oh my goodness! Chris has just slammed in an eagle. What? This Look thing this was smoke. moving. He called it in the flight. Oh my gosh. What an incredible way to start the back nine. Chris has a fairway ace. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Zott is throwing a P2. Oh my gosh. A putter. 492. This is high, this is gliding. <laughs> Does it have this. the speed? No way. <laughs> Inside the circle. Inside the circle. That's that is nuts. I I would I wonder how many of the fans even realize what they just. That was a putter. Oh, their eagle eagle lets them know. The outside forehand. First time I've seen the outside forehand, and he gets it. But we'll see what this this ground Going play does. Oh my gosh. Got that. Okay. Get up and down. Boom. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, slow miss. That wow. was so rad. Great putt. What a great way to start the round, get you going. This is a birdie putt. What? <gasps> oh my what? goodness gracious, I have never seen A that. complete taco job. We <laughs> need a slow miss for this. This is a no miss. A no miss. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Oh shoot. What? So. Oh my God. So you've it never, obviously doesn't. You've never seen that? I don't think I've ever, I mean, I've seen it, but and like, it, I've uh, never. Kind of like wraps around and spins. Is he going high? Yeah. He actually had the route to go high. And and again, I, I feel like I'm a broken record by by saying that he's the only one with the power to do this. Like on there from the rain that we had, where we had. And this is just Garrett Girthy doing Girthy things. Oh, that was a stable this. You see how quick that came this out of that? Perfect. Oh, oh no, we did it! No way! That hit it so hard it scared me. Oh my gosh, Garrett, that was an inch from being low enough to find the chains. This is incredible this. because oh. he's throwing it on Anheuser over that. Yeah, that's incredible. And and it's blind too. You know, after once you let it go, you don't know what it's gonna do. You can't see what it's doing. This, this looks fantastic. That looks great. I need to sit oh though, gosh. not again. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, I almost hit the fisherman. Maybe he's ripping on that destroyer again. 
No way. Look at how far he goes off the chains, though. Exactly where you want it. That's a good angle to attack the pin. And Simon looking like he's going to go with a roller. Oh, and this has great angle. If this that, could go a long way. If that's holding cut. That's going to be something special. Oh, no way. Oh, oh my God. This is going pin deep. Oh There's my, OB back there. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. He just went out of bounds long on a 751 foot hole. Eagle, this hyzer is ridiculous, going over everything, trying to spike the island. This is maybe too high. I don't know if he has an overstable enough disc to sit down. Oh, he hits the tree. Is that's gonna roll out of bounds. That's gonna wow. roll out of bounds. That wow. Lucky, unlucky. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Bamboo. I don't even have words. Flummoxed. Like, wait, what just happened? That's a beautiful shot for Oakley. Wow. Oh my goodness. Inside the circle from his <laughs> knee? Come on. The play that we're going to see from Eagle is if you've got it, that's the play to go with that big, high, wide sidearm. Looks like Eagle caught a little bit of the foliage. Didn't matter. I mean, come so on, easy. dude. Ugh. So, and she has, should have a clean look at it from around the corner. So it's going to be a little longer than she wanted but she's definitely got a chance. Jessica with that powerful sidearm, I mean. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got TV face himself, Eric Oakley. Yeah. He's either watching TV or had no idea we were taking this. Eric Oakley <laughs> saw a really big bird behind the <laughs> camera here and he was just dumbfounded. Very impressive player. Oh, no way. <laughs> Rounding out the car. Oh, man. <laughs> the majestic beast himself. He's in third place. And James Conrad also putting very well out here. And oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, to give the fans what they want, James Conrad. Wow. <laughs> Team Primal member, <laughs> Justin Billadu. We saw him. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Come on, the house. And Ricky goes with the putter approach. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Yes, Justin. Dude, the flames continue to get thrown. He's, dude, this guy. I know you've heard him say that. Yeah, I know. Justin with the putt. Oh, wow. and he takes advantage of the great break. And look at that spin putt just jamming through limbs. What a great Three. shot from oh. And he knew the fist putt before it went in. That's awesome. On top of the bridge? Yeah, he is. So he takes his life from the top Where of the are bridge? Are you just like that right out the gate? This Is, is he going to let the fist pump? The pre-raise? He didn't know. Okay, he waits for that one yeah. to go in. All right. There had to be a driver to stay underneath. Here's Ricky. Yeah! Oh my goodness. And, and we're getting it started right away. Oh, wow. Through the tiny gap. Oh goodness, look at that. That's what's so special about spins, skins matches. Yeah. Right from the very beginning. Yeah. We're open, but again, if he goes past the basket, Paul's got himself a skin. Oh and did that just happen? Just a oh, little we got right. Nice. It just no! spins out on him. Oh, and the reaction. Just one of the classic showcases ever in the last round of the National Tour. Here is Rick Sexton Firebird Roller. Oh, baby, that's what you want right there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And that's an almost guaranteed skin right there. It's a it's blind as well, so we're just kind of going, the players are just reacting to the cheers. Right. 140 feet, get a little distance ticker. What's that about? Just trying to play the game. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Two and four holes? Was that a Mako 3? It was, Mako 3. Oh, look at that. That is what the fans came here for. And that's your tournament play, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Rip a Mako 3 at the end. All right, I got a Firebird for the ace right here. Firebird for the ace, Ricky's calling it. And this year we have a new mandatory right to keep players going down this fairway, although I don't think it's going to keep those four-handers from going over 10's T-pad. Look at Rick here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so close. Oh, my goodness. That was even closer than I thought it was from the tee. That looked oh, missed by less than <laughs> my Mako 3 going to a knee. I'd love to get a 2 on uh, the I-5 hole. I think that would be good enough to win a skin and that would be fun. Oh. You did say that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. That's wrong, buddy. <laughs> that is wrong. Look at you, throw-ins on hole four and on I-5. This is clearly not going in. Clearly not going in. Oh, uh, good mock catch. X. Good catch. Mock X grabs. I know, I saw a, a six on my card. This is a lot of turn. It's an ace. Oh, oh my god. We're pointing down the hill. Rick is. Oh boy, Rick. Oh. That was Rick's par. That was a par putt. But fell out of his hand and. Wow, can you. Talk about getting punished, the driver. Keep it very flat, and then hides are very late. Or, oh. if you have a cannon arm, maybe you just think go around. I gotta think, is this a play for deuce, or is this just looking for a three? Well, let's, we'll see. Holy cow. I'd say it's looking for a two. Yeah. Hole 17. Yep, long, <laughs> straight, tough woods, grass, <laughs> sky, Simon, brush. That's why we're the best in the biz. <laughs> I, <dude>. Adam, <laughs> red, crush. No, actually a little bit low. <laughs> yeah, but, it, you know, if you weren't watching, then it would have been hilarious. Mm -hmm. It would have been perfect. Blue shirt, ponytail, rip. MJ right up the middle, loving that spot. Big guy, speedy arm, clear one, zing. <laughs> you needed birdie. I did. Kevin, jump putt. No, 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 Mez. It didn't, it, it, oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen one come back out that fast. That's a really good angle. That is looking superb. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Oh, man, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. I like the follow flight on a roller. Mm-hmm. You have to get so much cut, and it has to be a somewhat stable disc. You throw something under stable and you're just not going to be able to get that distance. Much earlier. This has a lot of speed, but it's turning quick. Oh, and he got the little metal post going oh in. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> Off the saw root. It. Kevin's going to go roller, try to hop it over that log. Looks like the wind is kind of wreaking havoc on that, though. But it's still Look at it oh. go. Oh no my god. No way. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! A guaranteed five. Mm -hmm. Well, five at best. Yes. Uh, best shot of the bunch off the tee. Best shot oh. of the bunch for Macbeth. Looked wow. like he just rang it up for the eagle too. Let's take another look at that. Yes, Headwind please. right to left. Macbeth playing the safer Which is play. crazy that right to left and it's still got that little bounce. Oh. That bounce up yeah hard to hard to know if that sticks on a different basket but a stress-free three the you know putter is surprisingly fast it goes surprisingly far even for him that's what i'm saying oh my goodness Whoa. nico almost drains it for the albatross are you <laughs> joking what a ridiculous two that would have been oh man Darn Mach 3s couldn't even hold on to his <laughs> albatross attempt. Hey, come on, Lee. Let's, let's give credit where credit's due. Okay. <laughs> what a great shot. Oh, Just man. catching the left side chain set. It's going to be a smash. Oh, okay. Nice. There's a line most people don't really throw. Just over the trees? Just over all the stuff. That's flexing back left nicely. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Are you? Oh, okay. All right, see ya. I will see myself out. Uh, that's ridiculous stuff. Yeah, the, the Might as of, well, yeah. The force over line is below all of that. Right. Yeah, he got... Man. But he put it up high, but he got the early turn on it. And so it just, it just had a lot of early turn coming down. I love, I love this play. <laughs> I'll go an anti-techie. 
Paul going. He's going Plinko. Yeah, Paul going Plinko. That hit like five branches on the way down. <laughs> Just <laughs> perfect. You can either make the shot look pretty or you can make the shot work. And he chose the latter. <laughs> and Tim from about, what is it, 200 feet? Um, Maybe like 150. Maybe less. Yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> what? Elevated basket, dead center. Let's get that A lot replay. less than 200, but still an 80, 90 foot oh. putt to finish your tournament. That's one of those putts that you, the <laughs> second you throw it, you're just like, that was perfect. And Yali's in the perfect spot twice in a row. And then he's going to go Heiser here. This looks great. Oh! Yali's tour! No way. Has just eagled one of the hardest holes at uh, the World Championships. On the planet. One of the hardest holes oh, on the planet. Oh my goodness. Yale with a throw in from 320 feet. A three on this hole. Oh my goodness. Just picture perfect the whole way through. He was always in the comfortable spot and then oh check that out. Even hit the pole. You can see it right there. Mm, oh, don't do, do that to him. No, that is such a bad break. That is wrong. He threw his hands up for good reason. Slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. uh, Emerson, look at this. Laying out forehand to the mulch. Just past it. What a guy. Yeah, that's sick. And Emerson with an 80 foot graphic here. Are we about to see something? Oh, oh yes. yeah, we are. 80 oh. footer? Oh, that'll get your round started quickly. What a putt. Oh, man. I mean, we've said it so many times, but man, is he feeling it right now. Yeah, he is. There's so much that goes into that. That is not just flicking his wrist. That is the angle control is so specific and perfect there. That This looks perfect to me. Oh, off the cage, James Conrad. And that's a blind shot. Human highlight reel, folks. Wow. Yeah, definitely rewind that one. We got to wow. see that again. He has no idea. He can't see the basket at all. So he just heard that noise and saw the disc probably fly back into view. Oh, oh my gosh. Just three inches, four inches maybe from going right in the basket. What a shot. James, go in. No! No, 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 go in. Do it again, but go in. How? Oh. I didn't know that was coming. I did not either. I never heard anything about that. And yeah, nobody warned us on that one. Oh my gosh. A world's ace on Lee Carr just barely avoided. How does he just almost ace every day? Because <laughs> he's just This one Conrad. deserved. This one was in. Oh, How is that oh, not in? It? it hit the pole. Come on. In the last nine holes. I, and just to think that, that Rick hasn't even, he's only fallen off one. I mean, that in itself is impressive, but yeah. Paul is just, he will not. James. Oh, we're going to take a look at that line. And that is a, another backhand Anheuser that is in the world, after all. And here we go. Something tells me this is going to be a follow flight, and the shot's going to be fantastic. Oh, my goodness. This is looking great. Come on, no hay bales and 9.6. That was the shortest focus on that late flip. And this right here, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Just a putter, guys. Just a putter. 370. Just in bounds. See how close wow. that was. So that's a good break for James. You have a chance to save a par. That was some good touch. Wow, nice shot. He's got all the tricks, guys. Eagle wanted nothing to do with those late trees, so he's opting for the sidearm there. Yeah. Oh, Joel, Joel's feeling lucky. He's going to push it right through for the park wow. job. Wow. No way. I'd be holding my stomach. All too. right. Third on the tee, we got the German bomber, 
Simon Lazat representing dynamic, oh, Jesus, a dynamic player uh, representing Dismania. Up there, roller angle, sure work. It was $100 CTP, I misspoke earlier. We, we have a $100 CTP. Simon, not really interested in that at all. Well, as he's going, oh or is he? God. Is he interested? I don't oh think it's going to reach it. It might be closer than Paige. It might, it might actually be closer than Paige. Insane. Excuse me, I'm out of words for a little while. Insane shot. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, don't show me 102 feet. Don't you dare. Wow. Are you freaking That's a crazy one. From way up above the basket, elevated basket, really the only basket without a bounds behind it, does not matter. It's t it's go time, <laughs> full flex, big S line putt. I have a little bit of flex, which is kind of the way that Austin likes to throw his forehand. There is OB on that left side though, if you take a bad kick. I, I like the way that he approached that and look at wow. that, look at the result. This is oh. high. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, no, it is a lot worse. Oh, wow. no. That was a brutal roll. Oh, it oh he's got a gap. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm a gap done. is all he I'm needs. Done. That was on a such a steep hyzer all the way through. I'll see you later, Germ. Thanks for your help all these years. Wow. Paul finally broke Germ, and Germ has left the commentary position. What a putt from Paul. This is a difficult putt from 45 feet, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Baby, with the step through. Look in. at that. Watch this. She knows it's in. Look at her, running it in. Let oh, me get some. That was amazing. Such a great putt. And like we talked about on the front nine, she just has so much power. She's right behind the basket for her par. Drop and drop in, please, for that birdie. Yeah, Paige. Excellent, too. All right. Two slow messes in one hole. <laughs> We're putting on a show out here in the woods. <laughs> Feet to the basket here. Paige is lining up her jump putt. Give her some. Oh, baby, I love it. This is a putting clinic today, folks. I hope you're taking notes. You're watching. You're cheering and excited like we are. Yeah, fortunate kick for a early release shot. Paige Bjergis fully trusting the putter. Whoa. Man, at first that looked like an ace run, but really Beautiful. it was just a perfect park job. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Get she that. is such a good putter thrower. This is why she put her name on the judge. I love that follow flight, and I love looking back and seeing that huge gallery. Like, that is so impressive. Oh, no, you didn't do that to her putter. You thought about it. You just weren't good to oh, her. Oh, she got the Nomez. <sighs> We oh, kind of knew that sweet. was going to happen. Look at how slowly it teeter-totters on the on the cake. Right, you guys, the lines are so narrow. Throwing something with a little bit of flip-up action is required here. Yeah, this is wow. SPA one That branch actually kind of ticked it up <laughs> to a little bit more of an Anheuser angle. Game plan is set for Chris once again. I believe another mid-range just going straight at the pin. That is so cool. Just three mid-ranges is all it takes. And this is something that I wanted to talk about in the first two rounds. I haven't really had a chance to do it up until now, but this goes along with the design philosophy that Stan McDaniel and Harold Duvall really like, which is that 350, 350, 350. And mm -hmm. that's essentially what Chris Dickerson just did there and James Conrad as well. James kind of showing him up going mid-range putter, putter. <laughs> yeah, well, either way, he threw the... the Whatever way you can get to three shots that are all accurate at that distance at the 350 range, as Alex Russell wow. skips into the bullseye as well, he's going to save his bar. Great recovery. And grab his disc out. Drew! Whoa! Come on! Incredible putt. Spin putt. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Put that on the highlight reel for the tournament. That's fantastic. Awesome putt from Drew. 60 feet. Is he going for this? Oh no, he's not going for it. He's made it. Wow. He's out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to stay. Go ahead and go to 15. We'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> Real. One more look. 
clean spin, dead middle. I think it's hard. It's hard to overstate how difficult difficult it can be mentally to come straight from the United States Championship right into this next one. Yeah, I, I mean, think every year I feel like I struggle a little bit with just motivation and you know just kind of questioning why our trees, <laughs> why our trees. You know, that's one of the things I, that keeps me up at night. <laughs> Hole nine, par four, seventy-seven feet. Oh, the hat flies off. This is looking good. Oh, gosh. Come on. Once again. <laughs> you got to be kidding me with this. That's incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> Silence is golden. <laughs> okay, that's a nice little slow mez. Oh man, that feels good. Properly to the gap. And there's obviously OB right down the road the whole way. And Kevin Jones, if he is one of the best in the game at this Heiser flip shot. That is a huge tee shot, incredible. Yeah, Heiser flip is super technical, super touchy shot. You never really... And Garrett going leopard three. TL3. Leopard? I heard it was a leopard three. Okay, I thought it was TL three. That's unreal. Either way, it's really good. Whatever three it is, it's not a three. It's a two. That is parked. As you don't see drives like this on this hole. This is incredible. That just had to be wow. someone flippy to be that straight.